сейчас. Sorry, clearing my throat. Right. <laughs> Welcome back, wife, Rev. Wife back. Kill wife. <gasps> wife gone. Think about wife. Regret. Regret for sure. <laughs> you probably saw me wink there. <laughs> I misclicked the button for the crying evil. <laughs> But thank you for the redeem. <clears throat> Petition to combine Halloween and uh, Xmas gains traction. Why? So like Nightmare... Uh, the Nightmare of Christmas? Nightmare... Tactical survival game. Cry Front 4. <laughs> uh, Final Front. Set to release next year. Uh, Bell Town man caught after attempting to outrun police with a seaway segway i think that might say segway but i can't read it you probably can't read it either but the coffee mug is blocking it that's okay oh no seems like we're out of ginger oh no hopefully gala doesn't come in ah <gasps> Mr. Hyde! Welcome! Michael! Don't leave me here! <laughs> My house! My God! Michael! <laughs> Thank you for the redeem. Michael, don't leave me here. I love that voice line. It's so good. <laughs> I'm excited for the FNAF movie. What if... What if... <laughs> they had that line in the movie. 10 out of 10. <laughs> The credits should also roll with the song Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, if, if that, if <laughs> they need Don't Leave Me Here and then the FNAF song. <laughs> gonna go see with your little sisters? I'm gonna go see with my sister, hopefully. I've told her multiple times, I'm like, you're taking me. And she's like, okay. And I'm like, you better remember. And she's like, okay, I will. And I'm like, you gotta remember. I'm waiting for this. This is the only movie I want to see in theaters right now. <laughs> Um, if, if they did it would be it really would like like as soon as the cred credits roll i i'm a, like uh i don't know if the movie's gonna be gory but i have a feeling like the ending will be like some like like gory thing and all of a sudden da -da -da -da. <laughs> trying to convince your parents to go oh my god <laughs> you're like uh do your sisters know anything about the lore or like the fnaf lore because my sister doesn't. She doesn't know anything. <laughs> uh, Mr. Hyde, welcome. Hello, creeps. It's nice to see you again. How are you? Ah, well. They do? Let's go. They've watched you play the games? Awesome! Yeah, my sister's going in blind. I- I- I'm not. Oop, sorry, I hit my mic. <laughs> I'm just here. How about you? You seem a little preoccup uh, oh, preoccupied. <laughs> preoccupied. Right. Sorry about that. I just learned to we're out of ginger. Oh? I made a mistake on the weekly order sheet. And the remaining roots I have are no longer fit for consumption. Toot toot. Sounds like a rookie mistake, creeps. I know. I'm a rookie. I am ashamed! Our st storage system is having problems because of recent power surges. Alas, I'll stock up at the farmer's market tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. I feel like my character d never sleeps. You're really busy as usual, I see. Yes, well, nothing wrong with a slow day or two from time to time. Although it's been quite a week, if I may say so myself. Oh? Well, I'm listening. Alright, the tea is... I'm dropping the tea on you, Hyde, right now. Uh, pardon? You're weak. Uh, tell me all about it. Oh. Hmm. I'm not even sure where to start. Try anywhere. After all, there's no way for me to correct an unheard story, am I right? 
<clears throat> right. Well, the most notab notable problem recently would be the these severe thunderstorms. Um, sometimes they cause our power to short out, which messes with the machines. So in case it happens again, my apologies. I see. War warning duly noted. There has also been this ongoing car vandalism in the neighborhood. Apparently, there's a serial deflator of tires on the loose. Officer Georgie was the one who informed me about it. We've also got a lot of new customers, and I think that's about it. Sounds eventful, even if not terribly uh, riveting. Uh, now, regarding the car vandalism you spoke about... Well, I drove here. To what extent should I be concerned? Um, I wish I could inform you with confidence. Unfortunately, I don't know much about it, so... I could answer that. Georgie! I have your lighter! What's up, Georgie? There's nothing to worry about. Your car is gonna be fine. Officer Georgie, welcome! Hey, creeps. I managed to track and narrow down the vandal's strike zone, you see. Uh, ca cause the culprit... Cause the culprit seemed to have a favorite spot. Really? Yep, and it's nowhere near here. Miss Riona told me her car was affected as well, by the way. That's so. If she comes back, can you ask her where she parked? Will do. Appreciate it. Anyway, my investigation's still going, but I'd say this area is pretty safe. So you can relax. I see. Anyway, good evening, y'all. Sorry for blocking the entryway earlier. I was finishing off my last cigarette. God. Does any place in America now- I- I think this is set- this is San Francisco, right? Does any place allow smoking indoors? I feel like that's- I don't know outside of California. I just know in California it's like banned. You can't even smoke- you can barely smoke anywhere now. <laughs> it's illegal? Okay. I was- because every time somebody comes in and smokes in here, I'm like- what? <laughs> Am I missing something? Because <laughs> this takes place in 2023. This this one in particular. Last one was 2020. This is 2023. Um, so I was like... Like, is, is it... Like, preference of, like, what the owner wants? Or... If, like, the owner's like, fuck it. Let them smoke indoors. I don't care. <laughs> I remember smoking sections, though, when I was a kid. I remember those at... Disneyland. They had like specific smoking areas. They completely got rid of those though because they like they're like no more smoking. Uh they're like very hardcore about their smoking now cuz they want it to be more, you know, kid friendly and which I understand. Um I personally don't smoke. Uh never smoked. Don't like smoking. Um but yeah. My parents smoke weed, so <laughs> I should say my stepdad. My mom she doesn't smoke occasionally. She doesn't smoke, like, at all. I think she said she did it a couple months ago, but she didn't like it. Um, you remember those in restaurants? They were, like, inside restaurants? Or were they just, like, outside? I do remember outside smoking areas. I still remember McDonald's had an ashtray. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's so funny that they, like, you know, understandably... Uh, they gotten rid of a lot of the smoking areas. <clears throat> uh, because it's time to start a new one. Do you mind? Not at all. Mr. Hyde, meet Officer Georgie. Oh, they haven't met before? Wait, that's crazy. He's in charge of the night patrols around here. Cheers. Ow, my elbow. Officer Georgie, meet Hyde. Our occasional guest from Los Angeles. A friend of Mr. Gala. Ah. The big hospital guy? Uh, that I guess I've seen you around a bunch. They had smoking sections in restaurants? That's disgusting. <laughs> you would go into the restaurant and the smokers would have a table in the back and non-smokers would have their section all, all in the building? Ew. I don't think I would eat anywhere if somebody was... Smoke. Well, obviously they don't anymore, but uh, 
smoking inside because that's like ew. I don't like the smell of s cigarette smoke anyways ah Los Angeleno <laughs> Los Angeleno huh <laughs> not for much longer though oh I'm in the process of finali finalizing my move back here with my modeling agency uh, that's wonderful news you lived here before mm. for about 40 years when did you move to LA then uh, around 20 years ago right mm. huh let's just say I'm nowhere near as young as I look oh sorry there's an ad uh, models vampires gotcha <laughs> Then, as a uh, native Seattleite, uh, let me be the first to welcome you back. We got smog and do uh, door skies. <clears throat> yeah, I was like four or six when they that was happening. I'm not sure how long it lasted, though. Yuck. Yeah, I'm glad that you can't smoke inside anymore. Uh, be at least our uh, coffee is second to none. Right, creeps? I'll let you be the judge of that. Thanks for the warm welcome. I was a teen when it came, uh, became a law here in GA. Is that Georgia? Oh, Georgia. G, G, G. Yeah, ah, I knew it. Yes, I knew it. Uh, then have you moved in already or not yet? Preparations still need to be made at the property I've chosen. I won't even think of packing until it's halfway done. Makes sense. Uh, that being said, I'll be here to oversee the construction for a while. If you ever need help, let me know. Can't do much by myself, but I can find a few guys who can. Although it won't be necessary, I appreciate the gesture. It's funny. What is? Quite frankly, the police force and I had something of a... Mm, contentious relationship in the past. Uh-oh. Is it a slap on the wrist or a let's call it a day type of thing? Or the catch, -a, uh, catch you, catch me kind. Teehee. Anyways. <laughs> oh. Chance. Silly. Silly billies. Uh, all I can say is, live long enough, you'll try everything. Those are bygone years, of course. Are you sure? He's like, yeah. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Enjoy the lurk tuba. Womp, womp. So, does anyone want something to drink? Of course, naturally. <laughs> after <y> after you <laughs> well a uh, public servant should put these citizens first so after you how idealistic but I insist after all I'm still considering my options well then in that case what will it be officer just give me something nice creeps are you all right eh not that great honestly what happened never mind that for now I got a question for you do you by any chance see a light lighter lying around oh yes I did I have it with me Phew! what a relief okay creeps listen carefully I need you to take this very very seriously okay I'll need that lighter back okay okay I mean it I need it back or this streak of bad luck won't end pardon just talking to myself. Okay, yeah, I understand. Appreciate it. Would you like anything to drink? Just black coffee for me, please. But lightly sweetened? So no milk. Absolutely no milk. Slightly sweetened. Um. So it's between uh, cinnamon 
and honey. Uh, this is lighter. We'll do cinnamon. We'll go cinnamon. If he doesn't like it, then, well, he should have been more specific. <laughs> and then we gotta give him his lighter jingle beans. That sounds funny. Yay! Serve. Finally, hello, old friend. Thanks, creeps. I suppose I owe you an explanation. I told you before, right? This lighter's my lucky charm. When it goes missing, my luck gets really dicey. Almost got hit by a falling fan at work. Oh my god. Broke the missus's favorite cup. Nearly s uh, swerved my car into the sidewalk because a black cat jumped into my lane. A black cat, not even a raccoon. I swear I'm not making this up. If that wasn't a sign, I don't know what it is. And, well, daughter's still mad at me, too. Anyways, glad to have this back. Thanks for keeping it safe for me, creeps. Uh, you're very welcome. Here's your drink, officer. Cheers. Oh. Are you sure this is my order, you motherfucker? <laughs> is it not? I've never seen nor smelled a sweet coffee like this. Uh, you're right, I've made a mistake. He said lightly sweetened! <laughs> I'm sorry, would you like me to remake the drink for you? Never mind, it's fine. I just can't be bothered. I'll just drink whatever this is. Again, I'm really sorry. Damn! Ready to make you order? Not quite. Do you have any suggestions? Uh, hmm. We have a couple of new teas if you're interested. Oh? They're butterfly pea and hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus, huh? Not an ingredient that's easily palatable when used in a hot beverage. Perfect. Make me something with it. Are you sure? We are missing some ingredients tonight. Do you have any specifics in mind? I'll let you choose for me. Just make it red and who knows? Maybe it can be my new blood win. Blood win. <laughs> It's a fake blood co uh, cocktail I used to get here, uh, but when it was still, but when it was still a bar, ah, I see. Make me a bold red drink. I'd like to see what you come up with. Alrighty, I'm looking this shit up because fuck this game and it's stupid fucking thing. He said lightly sweetened. Wait a minute. It wants me to give Hyde the key card? Why would I give Hyde the key card? I mean, okay. Um. Hibiscus. Make a bold red. I'd like to see what you come up with. Bold red. So red. I think if we put lemon in it, it turns a different color. So we're going to scratch lemon. Um, I mean, we'll try... Cinnamon? Let's try that. Let's see what it makes. Does it continue to stay red? That's still red. Um... And then it says it wants me to give the key card. Uh, I guess. I don't know. That's all I saw on this little thing. Hmm? That's Gala's, isn't it? The apartment key. I see. So he lost it here. In fact, he called me this morning asking if I was in the city. I didn't tell him it, I was in Seattle, though, so the call was a surprise. Why did he call, you ask? Well, simply because I have the, his spare key. I'll take this off you and bring it to him then. I will be sure to let him know. Alright, thank you. Here you go, sir. Something red. So this is a drink you thought I might like. Honestly, I'm not entirely confident, but this is the best I could do tonight. Looks peculiar enough. 
Hmm. How is it? It's tart. A string... A strange and... Do you like it? You tell me. Hmm. And I was looking forward to it. I'm sorry that it wasn't what you expected. Well, you did what I asked, so no need for apologies. Next time, you could try making me something that doesn't taste like hay juice. It needs some boldness. Something that can leave a mark in me. There is only one hibiscus drink that I have enjoyed. I'm curious to see if you can chew- if you can come close. I will try my best next time. Welcome. Hey, what's up? Hey, kid. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. There. Huh. Gucci. Damn. Oh. Oh, dang. Hello, creeps. Pops. Nice to see you again. What's up? What's going on? What's going on with you? Um, uh, me? Oh, well, nothing. Nothing much. Uh, you know what? Let me move over there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about earlier. I was preoccupied. Uh, no problem. Is everything alright? Yeah, of course. I'm always alright. And you always. Because I'm very- I'm a very lucky dude. Speaking of luck, did the lady ever come back? Miss Riona? Yeah, she did. Really? Did you manage to give her my stuff? I did. I gave her your written contact info. Okay, okay, cool. She didn't throw it away, did she? As far as I know, I don't think so. Great. You trying to reach the soprano lass? That's right, pops. I still feel uneasy about how that day went. So I just want to apologize to her or something, you know? Okay. So I guess I just have to wait for her to contact me, huh? I think so, yeah. But what if she doesn't contact me? What should I do? Then that's that. That's her choice. You're so right, Pops. Don't think of- uh, didn't think of you as someone who'd have trouble reaching out to people like this. For real, for real. The, the real wingman. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, it is what it is. Okay, then. I'll wait. Any hoodle. Any hoodle. It's nice to see you again, Pops. Likewise, kid. Hello to you, too, uh, sir? Dot, dot, dot. Hide. It's hide. Uh, da, 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 Wait, so you're really that Hyde? The supermodel Hyde? A big shot, huh? <laughs> oh man, oh boy! I never thought I'd randomly see you in a place like this. No offense to you, creeps. <laughs> well, <laughs> I follow your social medias, man. Big fan. Uh, I especially love the timeless series you did for Boundless. Hmm. That's an old one. Boundless? It was a nude mag. <laughs> it was a it was a lifestyle magazine. No uh, no longer in print, cause everything is online these days. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> what was the series about? It was a photo series I modeled for. A bit of it avant-garde shoot. It was originally set to be displayed in a time travel themed showcase. Alas, the ex expedition fell through. So they rethemed and put in the magazine instead. <clears throat> yeah, those were awesome. Hmm. I liked how the series showed peak fashion through the times. And your ass! <laughs> Yet the, the designs are so con contemporary. Timeless, even. Pun intended. I'd love to see that. But <laughs> wait, let me show you a couple pictures from it. Oh, wow! Okay. Not a nude mag. <laughs> Hyde looks great here, colorless or not. Hmm. Oh, wow! You looked amazing. <laughs> you looked amazing, Mr. Hyde. 
Still do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course. Wink. It was so cool. It inspired me to find my own style too. I'm partially to I'm I'm part partial to the '80s. It's oh, I'm sorry. I'm listening to the music right now. Do do. Is that like a? I know the song. Um, I'm partial to the 80s inspired look myself. The double cheeks. <laughs> For real. Really? I can't tell. It's my jacket collection. <laughs> Glad it helped. I did enjoy experiencing some of those times again. Even if only in garment form. Even if I was left with a melancholy feeling. But I digress. Hmm? Would you like to order anything? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, by the way, is pure matcha supposed to make you feel woozy? Pardon? I tried drinking some before lunch a couple days ago. I felt a tad nauseous. Did you have breakfast? Nope. It's really strong tea, so it still shouldn't be consumed on an empty stomach. Ah, uh, that was the main takeaway from our conversation, wasn't it? Duly noted. Thanks. Then can I get a pumpkin latte? Ah, uh, sorry, we don't have that here. Aw, uh, for real? You, you know you don't need pumpkin to make it, right? Oh, I've just heard that before. I've heard that before. Yep, but I have an open mind. I just don't want anything plain tonight. How about making me something based off pumpkin lattes with what you have? All right, sir. Let me just get my uh, trusty guide. Coffee, milk, and cinnamon. <laughs> Coffee, milk, cinnamon, brew. Cinnamon latte. Uh... I wonder if he wants his fidget spinner back. A cinnamon latte, warm and sweet, just for you. Sounds good. I'll drink with you, Gucci. Hmm. Good call on the cinnamon. It is, a, it is the star spice of the fall season, after all. For real. I don't drink coffee or any cinnamon drinks, but for real, bro. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> like pumpkin lattes. The warmth cheers me right up. Thanks, creeps. Don't mention it. Good review. I got a good review. <laughs> Yay. Uh, so what's the matter? Huh? Why do you need cheering up, kid? Oh, uh, about that. Just the usual work stuff. A few disagreements here and there, you know? Any working team will eventually have them once or twice, right? Right. What do you do? I'm a vlogger slash influencer. Ah. I review a lot of lifestyle things like fashion, places, food, etc. Uh, on the social media. Sometimes I do skits and such on my channels too. And pranks also? No, no, Pops. No way. Real talk though, I actually hate pranks. I didn't say it before, but I hate them. A lot. Is that so? I just, th uh, I just think they're the lowest form of entertainment. I do agree. I don't think- I never liked prank videos. Spe specifically if they uh, have to do with random people. Like on the sidewalk. Uh, hate those. Ooh, hydrate. Thank you. Uh, I got my juice. Ah. Delicious. Uh, the juice is starting to get warm. <laughs> Just cheap thrills at the expense of others. Exactly, Gucci. Spray bottle. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> Thank 
you. Thank you for the redeem. <laughs> I will spray also. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, right. Uh, but yeah, getting off topic here, sorry. So you're essentially the creator and the host of your show. What does your team do? Well, my team helps me edit, secure sponsors, and massively boost the production quality. They're great. I owe them lots. Do you think you're doing well? Yeah, I mean, I think so. We get by pretty well. Uh, I currently reside in LA. For real? I did too, before I moved here. Why did you move? Why I moved? Ha! Huh. <gasps> CC! Hi, CC! Ha! Dot, dot, dot. I mean, because I hated it here. How are you? I'm doing good! How was your stream? I hope your stream went well. Not to crap on where you live, sir. I just think LA is not for me. No offense taken. Why do you hate it? I hate it there. Yeah, I don't- th honestly, I live in California. Uh, LA? Meh. Uh, if I were to go move anywhere, f uh, cause I don't like where I live now. It's so boring. There's nothing to do here. There's nothing to eat. That's the main thing. There's nothing to eat here. Um, I would move back to where I used to live when I was a kid. That was- that was the area. How's your stream going? Pretty good, pretty good. I want to live in the city again. Yeah. I, it, where I live, literally, it's a mountain. Can't go anywhere. <laughs> uh, there's, like, you can't walk. It's, it's just road. It, it's, there's no, like, sidewalks to road, to, to walk anywhere. There's literally only roads. You can only drive. Um, and there's, uh, a lot of animals that could potentially attack you and eat you, so... <laughs> Uh, it's a long story. Uh, it's a long and stupid story. Trust me, you don't want to hear it. Anyways, sorry for the tangent. You were saying? Uh, I've been uh, noticing an influx of newcomers there. They're loud, young, and brass. Just like you. I was gonna say, just like you. <laughs> just like him. Just like Gucci. Sorry, I'm gonna move my mic a little closer so I can lean back on my chair. I used to live in Chicago, and it was amazing. Aw. I think I've been to Chicago a couple times. Uh, though not recently. I don't really remember it <clears throat> all too well. Uh, yeah. The fact that you're able to make something of yourself out of such mundane nonsense. I'd say you're doing pretty well. Beautiful city, to be honest. Nice. I would love to visit there. So, what's the issue? Well, I talked about my channel situation here before, right? You s yeah, you said your views are dwindling? You used to live in Orlando, uh, till I took bankrupt- <laughs> Took a bankrupt to the wallet. <laughs> oh my god, Rev. You used to drive around Chicago at 2am with your friends? That sounds like a blast. Honestly, if I would, if I were to drive, I would drive immediately. Uh, I would, <laughs> I would go visit my friends and all my friends, by the way, are in East coast. So I would be driving all the way to Florida, uh, New York, Texas. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's fun. <laughs> it to the best of us. Mm -hmm. Calling it dwindling might be a bit overkill, but yeah. You would go get brownies and ice cream for the, uh, from this one shop. It was cool. Heck yeah. Ah, uh, good times. I used to do that a lot when I was, uh, younger. Um, I had, f I had, uh, friends who would, they would go out. Oh, cute. Go out a lot. We didn't do much except for eat McDonald's. <laughs> and pizza. Sometimes we went to get pizza. Uh, that's why my team and I are trying to figure out what to do. Trying to keep the show fresh, you know? Truthfully, though, 
I've been wanting to change the show's direction for a while now. I even promised myself last year, once I get a certain amount of viewers, I was just going to do that. Uh, do it. Just going to do it. Was? Dun, dun, dun. Well, uh, I've always wanted to do a talent showcase segment, you know? So I could help elevate others like me? Others like you? Yeah! Like the soprano lady from before. Uh, like those dwarf actors and actresses in TV shows. Uh, we all actually kinda have something in common. Do you know what it is? I'll make it easier for you. <laughs> Think about set years, for example. Set years. Uh, creeps, when you hear about us, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Gucci? Hmm. Uh, don't think too hard now. Just say anything off the top of your head. Uh, how about you, Pops, sir? Probably partying, recklessness, alcoholism, uh, or a joke, right? Mm, is that what you think? Nope, but that's what most of society thinks. In the same way society views Lady R uh, Riona as bad luck uh, uh, personified, all just because she happens to be a banshee. Besides, society is awful at judging people. Uh, the immediate trust they have for those who have money uh, compared to those who have the to start from zero. You know what I mean? I mean, I get, uh, I get it, you know? Adequate social cues and awareness, that sort of thing. Uh, notorious, uh, uh, notorious, oh. Dogs are freaking out slightly. <laughs> uh, what, uh, you, when growing up, reflects those things. That's what most people like to assume, anyways. And, like, I get it. Oh, I'm gonna meet up. I'll wait till they're done. Okay, they, like, as soon as I muted up, they stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has any time to learn about everybody. So when we go by impressions, uh, but as someone who started from zero and now, the difference are uh, difference on how people treat me is so damn stark. So damn stark that it doesn't feel all that great, you know? Of course. So yeah, I wanted to carve a space in my work. A place where I can give exposure to those who might not get it otherwise. Uh, then once again, I ask you, what is the issue? Dot dot dot. My team thinks my segment idea is too risky. Don't fix what's not broken, they said. Uh, just want me to improve what I've been doing. And you agree? Uh, I mean, they're not wrong. The risk is real. After all, I'm not responsible only for myself. I've got a whole team depending on me now. So I'm trying to find a compromise. At least until we become so big that any slight changes won't affect us as much. Will the world wait for you though, I wonder? Huh? Will the world wait for you to be ready? Have you ever asked yourself that? Um. You see, making choices is always a matter of priority. As you grow, your you, your stake increases along with your responsibilities. As such, your excuses will continue to pile up. But, ah, given the pace at which you're going right now, I see your ideal, idealistic dream is unlikely to be uh, realized. However, uh, if it's enough for you to have to just have good intentions, well, that's another story. Da da da. Mm, da da da. Well, a little blunt, aren't we? Am I wrong though? Hyde is a very blunt guy, <laughs> so <laughs> not a big surprise to us, because he said that to someone last time, and it was like, bro, and it was like, huh? He was like, I don't know. 
<laughs> uh, it is a perspective. You know, one of many. I admit, I don't know much about the entertainment biz, but you've gotten this far, boy. Because all along, you've been motivated by that specific goal in mind. Ain't that right? Da da da. Yeah. That's why I wouldn't uh, dismiss his intent so easily. He's? Well, you're probably just a bit lost right now. Do you think I should have been gentler then? Nah. I needed the whipping. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> These words were hard to swallow, but I needed to hear them. Are you okay? Uh-huh. Well, there's a lot I need to think about. So, I should go. Nice seeing you, Pops. And thanks for your advice, sir. Creeps, thank you too. Hang in there. Yeah, y'all too. See you around. I feel bad for him. I was easy. I, I feel like he always leaves kind of sad. <laughs> Welp. I've stayed too long already. So I better go do my work now. Uh, don't want to get my pay docked, you see. Nice meeting you, Hyde. We'll see each other more often soon, I'm sure. Hopefully nothing work-related. Have a good night, officer. You too, creeps. Be safe out there, officer. <laughs> Will do. <laughs> Until next time. I suppose I should leave as well. I'll be back before long, though. Please do. Hmm? Uh, dot, dot, dot. Is there something wrong? Looks like the officer forgot his lighter again. Oh my... God damn it, Georgie. Georgie! <laughs> it seems our officer accidentally drop, drops it again. Oh my god. It exudes an interesting feel. Georgie. Uh, what a curse. Oh no, you're right. I'll keep it for him, thank you. Alright then. Have a good evening yourself, creeps. Safe trip out there, Mr. Hyde. I can't, like, literally, I would be, I would be yelling like, Hey! You forgot your lighter again! <laughs> a traditional Nigerian drink with a invigorating, invigorating ginger kick supported by cloves and pineapple. Oh, that looks delicious. I don't have pineapple in my shop, though. I think that's it for us tonight. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see. Is there anybody on we can read? I'll press continue so we could. Uh, I think there's a news article. Oh, we're all friends. <laughs> That's my achievement. Uh, lionfish invaded in, uh, invasion decrease a successful trial. Countries to block foreign entry admissed admissed unknown livestock uh, bacterial infection uh, immunity and werewolves may share common ancestry uh, archaeologists say oh oh look it's Gala too cute alright let's see 